Okay, guys, okay, uh, all morning long, I've been talking about this fire. Now, when I first got wind of it, uh, it was a couple hundred acres in a really remote area in the Feather River uh, Canyon area by a little town called Pulga. But as I looked into it more, I realized, okay, this is in a really bad spot. It's in the red flag warning spot, which is everybody. The winds were really strong, 40 miles an hour. And then I saw what was next. So let me just show you a couple things. First of all, I've been sharing this more and more lately. This is a map that's put together by Cal Fire along with PG&E and, and other people. The red areas are the, the places that are most likely to see a fire and it's gonna spread very quickly and it's the most dangerous area. Check this out. As we zoom in, this area right here, that's exactly where the fire broke out. So we just know the lay of the land with the trees, where the people live, this is a bad spot. So that's where it broke out. Then we started getting pictures. When you see a plume like that at eight o'clock in the morning, that is bad. So you can see the whole red flag warning area, which we went on and on and on about. So it's roughly in this location here. So we know that this is a bad fire. Uh, red flag warnings are when it's really windy, when, when it's really dry. Um, but we get a lot of those, to be honest with you. But it's the ones in October and November that are really bad for California because, as you know, it hasn't rained here in months. So everything is bone dry. And, you know, it's going to be in the 70s today. That's not, that, that's not hot at all. That's just a nice day. But when it gets this windy and this dry, you, again, see massive fires break out. And so now we're starting to get word of everything going on. I want to show you a couple things that you may not be aware of that I think are really important. You can go to the CHP, it's called the CAD page. You can look this up in Google. This is public information. You pay for this with the CHP, so you have access to this. Anyway, this is, it doesn't look like anything. They have a report of fire, 6.35 in the morning, just off Highway 70, near Polga in the courtyard. And this, by the way, is the, this is the Chico CHP Command Center. So when you start, and you can look at the bottom, I'm gonna start off, this is how many CH people. They have 39 CHP people assigned. There might be one or two officers per car. And then you can see this, 6.38 in the morning. These are how they all start. Small fire started off the side of the roadway. Then you could start to see it build. They're closing roads. We need to set up a dispatch, shut the road, fire has jumped. And you could see the progression hour by hour you, now it's jumping roads in the town of uh, Paradise, which has 26,000 people. Closures, clo closing major roads like Highway 70. Now they've got choppers coming, and you can see that two, now, now it's getting real. Two burn patients to the Chico Airport. Um, I'm not sure what that means. A lot of this is kind of like the Matrix. It, it takes a while to sort of translate what they're doing. But you can see the look at this check this out this is really important look at this one 1019 employees at the hospital shelter in place no resources they are going to be overrun by the fire so this is a place because we'll, we'll give you all the information that you can you may have relatives uh in paradise you may just want to know what's going on so that's a great place to look the chp cad site and there's a whole bunch of other things that I'll be sharing on my Facebook page as we go along here, photos, links, things like that, because this is going to be a major fire with road closures, lots of homes already burned. Unfortunately, we can see there's some injuries and maybe even more than that. And this is just the beginning. Red flag warning doesn't end until tomorrow, so we'll be tracking this all day long.